Don't worry, Carol and Rick, Sophia can be saved by the power of friendship. Friendship is magic. Hello, YouTube! Welcome, welcome! I hope you're having an amazing day. Welcome to part five of my series of reacting to My Little Worms. As always, all the original creators will be linked below. I was on TikTok and YouTube and I was searching for some early 2000s, 2010s cartoon creepypasta. And I think the next video is going to be about Ben 10. So stay tuned for that one. And advisory warning, although the content is My Little Pony, this is a creepypasta. So there is going to be some horror and gore. So viewers, be warned. So let's hop in. Chapter 41. I've been waiting. I've been waiting for this one. I miss Rarity and Pinkie Pie. I wanted to see where this storyline ends. What the f is wrong with you, Pinky? Why did you do all of this? Is something wrong with me? Did I do something wrong? Answer me, damn it. Don't you understand it? You were everything to me, Rarity, and yet you decided to do that. It's your fault that I'm like this. I barely recognize you. I can barely talk to you like someone conscious. I don't remember a single thing other than that damn day. Do you think all of this was my fault? How would I know that she was sick? We are all sick here. See, is it like The Walking Dead where it's like everyone's already infected? Your own sister was eating your cat and your cat was eating her entire mouth to defend herself. Oh, did you not see how shitty that area was? And to top it off, you and I killed your sister, Rarity. We devoured every part of her body. Wait, they also ate the, the, the sister? <laughs> it's the only thing I could remember to this day. I don't even know who you were to me before all this. I don't remember it at all. I can't remember. Oh. It's a shame having to remember everything we went through together. Why did you have mercy on me when you sewed my whole body? Did you regret it? Why did you have mercy? I don't understand. Why the f did you help me if you don't remember me at all? Don't ask questions that I can't even answer myself. Maybe at that point she remembered. Like, it, they, it seems like I think they just go in and out of sanity. Sometimes they're lucid, sometimes they're not. Neither of them could remember the events exactly. Both had fallen into madness after witnessing such a scene that became traumatic for them. Oh, someone has a theory. Carrie Sage in the comments below says so basically. Friendship is the cure, or at least would bring back their sanity. I love- that's an interesting theory, because it- uh, it fits the theme of My Little Pony. Friendship is magic. Normally, guys, I think the power of friendship and that being like the overarching theme to things, like especially in anime like in fairy tale, if you guys know what I'm talking about, friendship can solve anything. I find that really- Cringe. However, in the case of this, with that being an OG staple thing for My Little Pony and, and the, the whole, the whole, the whole thing, the whole overarching thing and then wrapping around to this, I think that'd be really cute. I think that'd be really wholesome. Like a wholesome thing to end a very twisted thing. I don't know, like I'm, I like it. I like it guys. Friendship is magic. That's how to look at the magic back. Don't worry, Carol and Rick, Sophia can be saved by the power of friendship. Friendship is magic. Ooh, a new character, chapter 42. Hear the great and powerful Trixie. It has been around 20 days, perhaps, since the first infection of this virus. But I have collected the following information in all these days. This virus is an infectious disease that affects ponies and turns them into aggressive and cannibalistic creatures. The virus causes those infected to carry larvae, worms and parasites that lodge into the brain and body of those infected. Ooh, symptoms, a little, a little notebook. Full body reveal, let's go, but the, the notebook looks so freaking cool, guys. Alrighty, symptoms and mutations. High fever and chills, loss of appetite and weight, changing color and texture of coat and fur, bleeding from the eyes, nose and mouth, loss of consciousness and speech, aggression and violence towards other ponies and animals, cannibalism and necrophagy, resistance to pain and wounds and decomposition. This, this is disgusting. So this is what we know so far. It's creepy. 
I've seen a few mutated ponies. It's really scary. I'm really intrigued. I'm really intrigued to see the other mutated ponies. I'm actually really hyped about that. <laughs> The virus has the ability to mutate and adapt to different environmental conditions and hosts. Some of the mutations observed are the following. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. Symptoms, mutations, increased size and strength of infected ponies, developmental claws, fangs, fangs. You know who else has fangs? <laughs> I have things. I want the sucky blood. I'm joking. I'm a reaper. I don't do that. <laughs> and horns, bro. I also got horns. Emission of guttural and terrifying sounds. Formation of hives and zombie swarms. Generation of spores and toxins that infect air and water. Resistance to antibiotics and antivirals. Important note, the virus being able to mutate ponies can also combine two or more ponies to create a single body, which increases its strength and resistance. Ooh. I still don't know very well exactly about these mutations. I need more time. I wonder if there are worse things than mutation. Well, that's it for today's information. See, this is who Twilight Sparkle wishes she was. But she, but she got on that, so I can't really blame her, right? The great and powerful Trixie says goodbye. Aw, I like that. That that was cute. Sensitive content. Let me go, damn it. I'll stop this, I promise. Starlight lowered the knife and released Sunset Shimmer. Why don't you understand that I do this for the good of everyone? Sunset, you wanted to sacrifice someone innocent. Have you never heard the dilemma that says, would you sacrifice one life to save five? What would you say? But this is different. Y'all were gonna torture her and have like a gruesome situation going on. Like, it is not different at all, Starlight. The only difference is that it will not only be five lives, but the whole world. But again, you don't know that. You don't know it would work. You didn't need to go off and cut off her wings and all the other morbid stuff you're gonna do with your butcher knife, my dude. Be rational for once. You're the one who's not being rational. I'm gonna flick your forehead. Damn it. Ew. Gross. I'm being at sunset. We both have our points of views. Neither of them is right. And now, if only Trixie hadn't gotten lost. Ooh. Do you think that if she were here, she would think the same as us? It is more than obvious that she's looking for other solutions. If she's still alive, I hope she is alive. Yes, Sunset. I know she's strong and probably still alive, but look how things are. There are too many possibilities. Sunset looks at Starlight and Fluttershy carefully. Fluttershy is very scared. Sorry, Starlight. Sunset threw the knife at Starlight. <gasps> what happened? I just realized, yeah, she took the knife off of her throat. Why did you do that? Bro, you had the advantage. She's the dangerous person and you had the advantage. What the fuck? Alrighty guys, chapter 44, be back with Trixie. I had forgotten to show you. Other symptoms, acceleration and alteration of heart and respiratory rhythm, dilation and redness of the pupils, increased body temperature and sweat, decreased sensitivity to pain and fear, constant and compulsive hunger, aggression, territoriality towards other ponies and animals, loss of memory and identity. I also discovered that ponies are attracted to the smell of flesh and blood. They're part shark. No, no, I'm joking. I'm joking. Light attracts them as loud sounds. By the way, I have a few things in my bag that might be of help. It's giving Dora the Explorer backpack. Weapon, binoculars, compass, flashlight, water, med kit, knife. I know that with this, I'll be able to find starlight and sunset. <gasps> Twilight Sparkle! Please do not infect Trixie. I will be upset. <laughs> we'll be very upset. Trixie looks closely at the camera screen. What is that behind me? Twilight? 
Oh my gosh. Damn, Twilight. You scared me. Sorry. Are you infected? Okay, why are you even asking that? She had to feel this one like two face. So you could see like, the worms in her. How long have you been like this? I lost track of the days. But apparently, you're still conscious. I guess you can still save yourself. I have... Mm. Oh, <laughs> dot dot dot. Yeah, she's stressed. She's like, get away from me. Don't touch me. Twilight, you're scaring me. I don't know what's wrong with me. I feel like only a part of me is aware of what it does, and the other half is totally controlled by the parasite. I think it'd be cool if Twilight split into two. I'm here for two-headed Twilight. <laughs> Your case is too strange. I have never seen a pony like that before. Please help me, I can't take this anymore. Twilight repeated a few times shouting, I can't hold on, I can't hold on, I can't hold on. I want to tear off my skin. Please calm down. Do you know how I can help you? If the parasites are removed from the area, they die instantly and the area will simply be left with their wound unless they have laid their eggs there and you have not removed them. There is, there is a way. What the happened to your hair it burned <laughs> that ass oh my gosh she's talking about spike of course spike was trying to defend himself and blowing fire at you because he tried to eat him damn chapter 45 Ooh. okay i don't know who these people are but she looks like a baddie i like the way she's dressed i'm not sure if she's dressed like that like every day or if this is apocalyptic wear but i'm here for it i'm here for it youtube are you okay Sorry if it worries you when it comes to running away like that. Ha, I'm fine, sir. Don't worry, I just sprained my back leg a little. Other than that, I'm fine if you are too. His little mustache! Look at his little mustache! Changing the subject, didn't you see how aggressive that deer was? Apparently, the animals are becoming more aggressive. Even if you don't do anything to them, they still attack. I still think the cure may be in them, sir. Question mark? But it'll be difficult if we do not have test objects. Even taking samples from animals will be difficult. It's very risky. They could attack us and infect us. But don't worry about that. I'm willing to take the risk for you. In these circumstances, I want us both to protect each other. Not just you to me. But, but nothing. Could you show me the information we already have? Sure, here you go. More journals. Vaccinate against rabies, remove parasites, worms and larvae from the area, infected, all these is crossed out. It is transmitted through direct or indirect contact with the body fluids of infected animals such as blood, saliva, urine, and feces. It can also remain in contaminated soil, water, or food for a long time. There is no treatment or vaccine. Capybara! Ooh, is there capybaras in the MLP universe? I kind of want to see a capybara drawn in the MLP art style. It's a shame that even domestic animals are like this. Dogs and cats. There are carnivorous mammals that belong to the canid and felid families, respectively. They have a highly developed sense of smell and are social and domestic animals. They can become infected by worms and parasites such as hookworms, tapeworms, or toxocoras, which lodge in their intestines or other organs. These parasites can pass to fly larvae and feed on their excrement or open wounds. Rodents. There are rodent mammals that are characterized by having incisors that grow continuously and that they use for gnawing. There are many species of rodents, such as mice, rats, squirrels, beavers, or rabbits. They are omnivorous animals and adapted to various habitats. They can be infected by worms and parasites, such as nematodes, kestodes, or trematodes, which are transmitted by consumption, or contaminated food or water, or by contact with other infected animals. These parasites can pass to the fly larvae that feeding on their excrement or their open wounds. Wild boars, there are artiodactyl mammals that belong to the sued family, along with pigs. They have a robust body, an elongated head, sharp fangs, and rough dark fur. They are omnivorous animals in nocturnal habitat. They live in forest, meadows, and mountainous areas. They can become infected by worms or parasites such as Trichinella, Aceris, or Fasciolae which lodge in their muscles, liver, or lung. These parasites can pass to fly larvae that feed on the excrement or open wounds. I am sorry if I mispronounced any of those words, 
I don't really want to look those words up because I don't want to see worms. Ah, sorry. We have collected this so far, sir. Let's keep walking. Maybe we'll find something ahead, as you say, with Trixie and Twilight. Do you want me to get all of that out of your face? You are undoubtedly crazy. It's the only way I know. Like, I still feel like if they removed all the worms from her face, it's too late. It is. She's gone. The bugs. Um, it's the only way I know. The bugs have even gotten into my brain. Ugh. Do you think you can help me? I... I am the great and powerful Trixie. Of course I'm capable. Go off. But you have to look for a cleaner place. There would be no point if I took them out and they're reinfested in an instant. Ugh. <laughs> Worm infestation. You're right. But keep your distance from me, Twilight. Believe me, I don't want to hurt you, but if you decide to attack me, I will have no mercy. What a bad vibe. <laughs> What do you mean? That's to her other half talking. <laughs> then side talking. Damn, she said she would help you. What do you mean? Good vibes. Good vibes. I know. Alrighty. Chapter 46. The Great and Powerful Trixie. Such a long title. The Great and Powerful Trixie, along with Twilight, look for a safer and cleaner place to do worm Twilight. You know, when I saw you, I thought you would hurt me or eat me. I would never do that, bro. You definitely would, let's be real. Asshole, of course I would have done it. Exactly, see? Twilight was getting very close to Trixie. Her face, her face is am amusing to me. It's funny. But you're helpful, so I won't do it. Ah, we agreed that you would keep some distance. Trixie takes a few steps, somewhat scared. What a bad fly. Twilight stands back. Trixie kept walking. I know you're watching me. Is her eyes going in different directions? <laughs> I think she's breaking the fourth wall there, guys. She's speaking to us, the audience. Trixie and Twilight, after a long walk and some problems with Twilight's changes, arrive at a cleaner terrain. Well, Twilight, I hope you can control yourself while I deworm you. He's getting dewormed like a dog. <laughs> I beg you, Twilight, don't worry, Trixie. I'll try to control myself. All right. Trixie takes out a knife and sterilizes it with a little alcohol. Here I go. Trixie cuts some of Twilight's skin to remove the parasites with tweezers. Ew! This hurts! Be more careful! It would hurt less if you stayed still, Twilight. I have to take pieces off your skin from the other places so I can reshape your face. Are you sure? I'm a little nervous to see what she's gonna look like. Ah! Twilight, just do it. Trixie took pieces of Twilight's skin to sew them to her face to close the wound. And that's it! Sorry if there was painful frog face. Shut up, burnt hair. What? Question mark? I feel lighter. Oh, she does look better. I thought it was going to look a lot worse than this, to be honest. It was painful, but it feels good. Thank you very much, Trixie. Without you, I couldn't have done this. Although my blindness in my left eye will not go away, at least it's just that. Yes, of course, it's just that, at least. Chapter 47, Trigger Warning. Sensitive content and loud sounds. Pinkie Pie had been silent for a few minutes. Her body soon had tick reactions. Pinkie? Her eyes were bulging out of place, gagging as if she wanted to vomit something from inside her. It's giving, it's giving derpy. It showed certain green spots. What? 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 It showed certain green spots on its body in a strange liquid that fell from its snout and had a dark tone. Is she mutating? Ah, uh, her teeth! She gonna grow horns? She has fangs. A, granted, a lot of fangs. Oh. My. God. She made heartbreaking and strange sounds. Inside her snout came a smell of putrefaction. It was full of larvae that were eating the walls of her cheeks. Oh, is it happening to Rarity too? Rarity soon had the same strange reaction as Pinky. Her face melted as that liquid fell all over her face. Or do you think they're gonna mutate together? It'll be like a Pinkie Pie and Rarity fusion. I I'm here for it. <laughs> Rarity had her tonsils full of puss and some larva laying their eggs. I- Sorry, YouTube. I feel gross reading that. It was really disgusting to see how they were rotting from the inside. Chapter 48, Apple Bloom. Could we rest? We have walked a lot. Not yet. 
Apple Bloom, sensing Rainbow Dash's seriousness, remains silent for a large part of the way. Rainbow Dash, my legs can't handle it anymore. Please, let's rest. I'm begging you. God, you are annoying. It's okay. We'll rest for a while. That was mean. I feel like Rainbow Dash could just carry Apple Bloom. Like, give her a break. She's a child. Both ponies stay in an abandoned house to rest. I'll go explore the house. <laughs> you better not go by yourself. This is not Scooby-Doo. Try not to die, little girl. Maybe go with her. What do you mean? Why are you letting her go by herself? Ha ha. Uh... Bloom explores the house while Rainbow Dash regrets leaving Applejack behind. You're saying you're getting abandoning Applejack, but here you are, leaving Apple Bloom to go in an abandoned house by herself and explore. Make it make sense. <laughs> Why did you have to be the heroine of the situation? Apple Bloom appeared out of nowhere, running and screaming desperately. Run! It's chasing me! I swear to God, if we find out that Apple Bloom got bit. Someone has to catch these hands. I love you, Rainbow Dash, but you are being dumb. And that's a wrap. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. It's been really fun. We're so close to getting caught up with the series. I know we're a couple episodes away from being into season two. And then I know Maddie came back because she's making more content. So I think if I do one, like a one larger one, I'll be caught up. If you like the content, maybe leave a like or subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.